Hi everyone, this is Brenda and Tim from Mainly Hybrid Homesteading. Hey everybody. Today we have another pantry haul for you, some restocking our pantry and also our regular pantry. We've been, or at least I've been busy with the pantry stuff and um, been adding some more canning jars. I actually bought a couple cases of these pint jars but I already used uh, most of one of them. I've uh, oh. been pressure canning some meat whenever meat comes on sale. So chicken was on sale this week uh, for $1.99, which that's the best price nowadays. Um, so preserving meat and dehydrating vegetables and haven't tried fruit yet. Our air fryer also does dehydrating, so I've been using that. Um, this is some broccoli that I dehydrated. So putting stuff away, things that are not going to rely on my freezer in case uh, we lose power. Or if power just becomes really expensive. Uh, Walmart had these on clearance, some hand warmers for 50 cents. I thought that was uh, a good deal. And just adding to our medicine cabinet some uh, anti-diarrheal tablets uh, just to have. We don't usually have an issue with this, but um, you can get dehydrated pretty quickly if you're having diarrhea. And if there's um, medical care is not readily available, these will be good to have. Also some uh, chewable aspirin. Uh, good for someone that's having chest pain before they get to the hospital or just you know everyday aches and pains and then i was happy to find uh that walmart had these canned hams back in stock and they're good till 2027 so i grabbed a couple of those and i also grabbed a can of spam i was talking to tim and he used to enjoy it when he was a kid i don't know about enjoy it <laughs> You had it. Yeah, right. If you have nothing else, it's it's okay to no, have. it's okay once in a while. Yeah. It's not something I want to eat every day. But actually, um, this had an, a, some potato, it has potato starch in it, which I can't have. And these were actually 20 cents cheaper, and you have 16 ounces of meat, and this only has 12. So it was a better value to actually buy this, but I thought we'd just add, and these... This is only good till 24. Also bought a can of corned beef, good till 2026. Some more tuna, some coconut to add to our baking. Uh, Tim has been exploring some different treats that he's been mm. making for himself. <laughs> almond bars. Yes, he was making uh, almond chocolate bars and mounds chocolate bars. Mm. I finally, uh, Hannaford finally had my coconut milk back in stock. It hadn't been in stock for at least three or four weeks. And uh, so when I saw it on the shelf, I grabbed a few. And I usually uh, water this down. I'll put a can. It's more than a few. Yeah. Did, was there a limit on them? No, no, no limits yet. Okay. Um, they may be coming in the future from what I've been reading on other sites, uh, limits on meats and other things. And actually some stores are putting those little, um, those little anti-theft devices on the meat, wrapping them up in uh, wire, that kind of stuff. At our stores? Not our stores, no. No, no. maybe in the big city. Right. Yeah. Um, where the, yeah, there's more theft. Uh, some more sweetened condensed milk, which is another ingredient in Tim's, uh, Bars, desserts. desserts that he's been making. Snacks, <laughs> treats. <laughs> um, got some more yellow and green split peas. We made some pea soup this week. And mm. so replenishing that using uh, his dad's uh, recipe. Yeah, dad's pea soup <laughs> recipe, the best. Uh, replacing some lime juice that we had been using and adding another uh, jar of minced garlic to our pantry. Also some more molasses. I use this in my teriyaki sauce and also in baking. Teriyaki sauce, that's the one we're going to make a video of? Yes. That was good. Yeah. Yeah, it has no soy sauce, which is good for me. 
but uh, Tim likes it too, which is a bonus. Uh, some more cassava flour, some more uh, pickling and canning salt. Uh, just looking ahead to the canning season, going to try some pickles uh, this summer if uh, we have a good cucumber crop. Some more uh, cocoa, just made some uh, chocolate cookies. Um, always make uh, cookies for all of my immediate family members on their birthday and my granddaughter Bridget wanted uh, her favorite chocolate cookies with Reese's Pieces in them so replenishing the uh, cocoa I used in those. Got some more uh, chocolate chips. Target had these back in stock. They're the higher concentration of the cocoa, 72%. Walmart still has these at $2.54, so I'm going to be vacuum sealing these so they'll last uh, beyond the expiration date or the best buy date. Got some more raisins um, to add to our fruit in the pantry. I'll be vacuum sealing this as well. Raisins are totally wiped out. The store brand, I haven't been able to find it for two or three weeks in the stores that I go to. Uh, so not sure what's happening with that, but there's definitely a shortage right now. And wanted to add another um, jar of regular instant coffee. I haven't tried the Great Value brand before, but it's good until 24. And if we don't have anything else, this will be good. <laughs> Got some more um, popping corn. You always want to look for the non-GMO um, popcorn. This will be uh, vacuum sealed and it'll last forever. You can grind it up and into corn flour and make a baking, do some baking with that. Fluff, uh, I needed another jar of this to have on hand. It was $2.44, less than two years ago it was $1.99. So that's gone up in price. And the apple cider vinegar, uh, we just finished a bottle, so wanted to keep another bottle in stock. It's good till 26, so that's a good expiration date. Uh, stocked up on seeds at Walmart this time. Uh, got some catnip. We're hoping to get a little kitten this spring. <laughs> and they had a rack of uh, seeds for 20 cents. They were mostly flower seeds, but... I'm going to try growing some of the marigold. They're good for keeping pests away from your garden. Uh, so I'm going to try starting some of these this coming weekend. And hopefully I'll have success with those instead of buying the plants already um, growing. And Tim just found these at a local store, Ed's Grove. Um, how many are in here? 102 pieces It probably... 102 pieces, that might include 102 pack. 20 plant labels. Okay, so. Yeah, so probably 80 of these little plant things. These are the ones that you can just put in the ground. And these will be nice to uh, able to label your plants with. That was $6.99. $6.99, so that's, that's a good deal. That'll help me out this weekend. Yeah, plenty more too. If you want yeah. To get uh, got some mini marshmallows. I did dehydrate the larger marshmallows and they came out good, but they're they're pretty big <laughs> and they're we're finding them hard to bite into. I mean they're still a nice treat, but we figured the the mini marshmallows would be uh, mm. an easier thing to just snack on. These aren't a necessity, but they're more of a you know a treat kind of thing. Got some more of the the cotton yarn to um, have, I still want to learn how to crochet and make some dishcloths because these uh, type of dishcloths last forever. And made another stop at the uh, Dollar Tree. I just went to the eye doctor and he recommended that for really close work, I should probably bump up my reading glasses to the 2.0. So I got a couple pairs of those to try out and got some more of this uh, coffee, the Cafe Moro. It's uh, six ounces for $1.25. We're 
we did try it out um, first time I used the usual amount of coffee that we that we uh, use and it was kind of strong <laughs> so I uh, I used less coffee the next time and I liked it. I don't know. I don't think Tim has tried it with the more diluted No, but version. the flavor was good. It was yeah. just too strong the first time, so I'll try it again. Yeah, time, it's a rich coffee. Yeah. Um, but actually I had a craving for it yesterday and made a part of it. It's, it's really not bad. So I grabbed four of those and if nothing else, this will be a good bartering item in the future. Got some more of the... Um, Himalayan pink salt and I figured I would try this coconut milk because as I, as I said I was not finding the one that I usually buy and the one that I like so I'm going to try this out it's $1.25 for the same size can but it does have water as one of the ingredients so I think it might be already watered down and um, my other one I do like Put ha I dilute it halfway so to make it last longer. So we'll try it out. If I like it, then I may uh, stock up on this, and it actually had uh, longer expiration dates than uh, my other one. And I had seen this wound care kit on other videos, and it hadn't been available at our Dollar Tree, but finally became available. So I grabbed one. I figured it would be good um, in your bug out bag. You have some gauzes in some gauze rolls here. And some smaller gauze pads. And a roll of tape. So pretty good for $1.25. I'll take it out of this box and put it, you know, in a Ziploc bag or something. Oh yes, dish pans. I got three of these dish pans to for my indoor growing, uh, mostly for next winter with my microgreens and even just trying to grow uh, lettuce in here. So we'll just be filling these up with dirt and um, just a cheap, cheap alternative and won't take up too much space. But we'll be able to add to our uh, fresh veggies in case uh, they're too expensive at the, the grocery store or not available. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you keep stocking your pantry. We have been uh, looking forward to spring here. <laughs> looking forward to uh, planting our garden. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye. Bye. <laughs>